good morning. Uh, we guides, like everybody else in the country, have been stuck at home with nobody but ourselves to talk to or an e-audience. And in London, the guides have done things like show the, uh, describe the artwork on their fridge magnets. And there was a plea for regional guides to try the same sort of thing. So here I am in North Wales and I thought I'd talk about some of the objects in my house and their local relevance. Now the first thing I've got to show you is a rag rug that I'm very proud of, I made myself um, and it represents the great big gaping holes in the Snowdonia landscape that are the Dinorwig and the Penryn slate quarries. They're actually Britain's bid for a world heritage status this year. And um, we roof the world really, slate uh, is basically mud millions and millions of years ago squashed by immense forces so all the little grains go in the same direction which means you can split it very thinly and it's very very strong because another object I've got is actually um, a set of these lovely slate placemats uh, which are excellent for cheese etc and when I first moved to North Wales, I went to the Slate Museum, which is a thoroughly recommended visit, and you see the craftsman split slate. Um, still to this day, it can only be split by hand. And I got home all enthusiastic, lots of bits of slate in my garden. I got myself a mallet and a chisel, and I tried to do it. And I ended up with an awful lot of these sort of slate chippings, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. And when I went to tell my butcher about this, it sounds a bit strange, but almost everybody around Clamberis has ex-quarrymen in their family. And uh, he said to me, oh, the slate doesn't speak English, you know. You have to speak Welsh to it. So that's obviously what I did wrong. And now that's probably more than enough for today about slate. 